Hello again. So, um, last time I made the observation that I had actually skipped a few rooms and I read over the manual and I think I get what happened now. So, um, let's explain these buttons on the menu. Um, first, this one. Um, there's like a silver medal and a feather and a gold medal. Um, this actually toggles between an easy mode and a hard mode for each of the puzzles. And then this button um, is the one responsible for the um, skipping. Um, basically, um, it basically changes the mode which the game uses for deciding what level to take you to. So this is the normal setting. Um, this takes you to the next uncleared level. This takes you to the next level under par, um, and this is the setting which I had on um, when I was playing last time. And then this one um, lets you restart the level to um, basically keep improving your time. So let's um, knock out some of the levels which we um, skipped over. Easy as that. All right, what else? So first meditation level. Then some simple movement tutorials. Better than par when you look at that. Um, didn't quite get the par on that, and that's um, those ones I skipped. Next up is Meditation 2. So let's get that separated. Super quick, nice and easy. Then anything else I skipped? Not here. Doesn't look like here either. None here. Okay, automation or automaton magic. So, um, here is a magic wand item uh, and a block which is sort of just continuously moving. And I believe what this block does is if it bumps into an oxid stone, it'll reveal it. And if I have the magic wand in my first slot and I bump it, it reverses. So we can use this to our advantage. So it's blue and yellow. And green. And yellow. So let's try to do this. Nice. Just sort of um, letting it casually saunter along. So that's red. That's blue. That's green. All right, let's see. If we can't make it um, match red real quick, this should be good enough. All right, um, gotta be careful not to be in the way of the block because if it moves on top of you, then it will destroy you. And that's green. I believe the other green one was up top here. Was it? No, I think this is blue. 
pretty sure the green one is um, down here. Yes. Just going to do another cycle along. This level isn't too bad. Just a little bit of waiting. And we should be done in just a few moments. Alright, back and forth. So here we've got some shoots. So blue, red, green, yellow, blue, red, yellow, green. Okay. So, I believe we're going to be bumping these and making them change direction. So, we're currently on green. So I believe the other green one was here. Um, am I missing something? Is there a magic wand to pick up? Hmm. Um, there it is. Yeah, so you need the wand. Um, oh, I got that wrong. Wow, my memory is really not that good. Okay, um, let me turn up my brightness, because my, um, my screen isn't actually that bright right now. Okay, green, yellow, red, yellow, blue, red, green, unknown. Um, okay, I, I really need to, like, actually memorize. So, blue, red, green, yellow. Blue, red, green, yellow. Green, blue, yellow, red. Blue, red, green, yellow. Um, green, blue, yellow, red. Blue, red, green, yellow. Green, blue, yellow, red. And I accidentally bumped that one. So, um... Actually, I should be able to... Yep, okay. Should be good if I remembered that one. I sure did. All right, cool. Um, that was a proper memory test. Um, not quite like the other ones. All right, and here is a rather mean puzzle. Um, the top row is sloped to the right. The middle row is neutral and the bottom row is sloped to the left. And of course, um, what else would there be but a bunch of oxid stones? So what we can do here is we can tuck that in the corner, um, and then tuck that in the bottom corner. Um, still a little bit unwieldy. So pink, yellow, okay, nice, got a match. So that's pink, that's red. Um, this one was red. Okay, that's another match, that's good. And now we do the opposite for this one down here. Um, got a nice quick match. Um, okay. We can make that die real quick. Actually, I'm not actually sure if we want to do that. I feel like the level might want to restart if I lose all my lives, even if there's still a few marbles remaining. I need to double check. Um, try not to die at the very end. Okay, then this, um, so if you recall, the pure white tiles are reverse movement tiles, and the black void is space. So this is really a puzzle that's all about annoying floor movement. 
So green and red. Um, luckily, I don't actually need too much input. Like, I can just get it rolling and then let momentum do the work. So it's blue. Got a match. That's this one, that's red. All right. Uh, a little bit of a slow roll there. Another match. And then let's just sort of go down real quick. Um, bounce the opposite way and then engage in shambles. All right. There we go. And then this is a meditation level that's a little bit more complicated. Um, let me show you how to do this one real quick. You want to sort of get each of these safely tucked away in its own little one-way world. There we go. That's those. All right. Then those two on the right side. Nice, and I tied my personal record without trying. All right, is it easy? I don't know, let's read this note. There are more than two. Yep, okay. So here's another one of these. Which one's that? That's blue. Um, are they the corners? Okay, they're the corners. So... There we go. Alright, that wasn't as bad as the other one, honestly. And then B more, we already saw that one. Then Slalom Skiing. So, um, this one is a little bit silly. How it works is um, there's actually, you have to go in between these flags and the reason why might not be what you think. It's because there's actually invisible death blocks if you don't go in the flags. And I'm pretty sure that um, the flag arrangements are random. Um, there is actually such a thing as random level generation in this game. And then chest stones, that's the one we stopped on last time. So, where are we? So, up next we have buy and advanced tutorial. So let's read this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial pack. You will see most of these levels a second time in the Enigma packs, together with many new and much more difficult ones. Just don't give up on them. Alright. But before this, take a look at the final tutorial level Jacob devised for you. See it as an exam if you want to. It's quite difficult, so don't despair if you don't get through it the first time. Bye. Alright, that's why the level's called Bye. And then... Going on another soul search for the Oxid Stones. There we go. Alright, Advanced Tutorial. I remember this one being a doozy. Um, I'm not going to read these notes. Um, I'm pretty sure this is sort of like... Just a... Um, an introduction to a whole bunch of different mechanics. And here you can see the um, water bridging. Um, not too bad. And then on the right side here, um, these stone blocks, you can see that they actually sink to the bottom of the water. And if I um, knock around one of these, um, I'm not sure what they're called. I'll need to take another look. But they, they look sort of leathery, but if I push them over, they actually float over the water. So I guess maybe like balloons? Who knows? 
Um, either way, let's make our bridge across. Um, let's pop these notes while we're at it. Just a gentle nudge. That thing is a top. It will destroy your ball if they touch. Also, as long as you are close enough to it, the top will chase you. If you die, you will restart at the beginning of the level if you have any balls left. Try to find a way to get past and into the next room. You can use the blocks in the center of the room as barricades. Um, you sure can. Alright, then we've got some floor types. Um, let's be a little bit careful here. Don't want to go into death. Then we've got some slopes. And some uh, reverse movement. And some push block puzzles. Um, let's see. So that switch is for the way out. And then if you want an extra challenge, you can also get the one up. I'm just going to read through my notes while I'm doing this. I'm actually not even reading them, but um, just sort of freeing up my inventory space. So that's how you do that. So let's claim our free one up. And now, um, to get this block out, it's as simple as that. And I believe um, my goal for this recording session is to beat this and then there's another level pack called Training, um, which is only two levels long, but I want to try and solve it regardless. Um, I remember there's one level in it, which takes a modest amount of time. So here's Dynamite. Um, you can see it sort of destroys these plaster blocks. I believe the manual calls them plaster. And the Dynamite also makes a little hole. And then we've got a shovel, um, and if you click using the shovel over the hole, then it fills it up. And there's also these little um, half holes. So that's how that works. Alright, then um, we've got these. These sure do exist. So, to show you how they work, um, they're sort of operate on a strange timer. I'm not going to think too hard about it right now. We got ourselves a magic wand. Um, I think what we want to do is bump these three upwards, bump that down, that frees up some space, and then those just fall into the void. So I don't think there's anything more to do here. The stone in the top right is a switch. Yeah, I already knew that. So. Do you remember a door that you weren't able to open? The bluish line is a window. Bridge the water before you do anything with it. Okay. So, how does this work? Um, I think we need to bridge across. That's just sort of a given, and in order to do that, I think I gotta be a little bit, a little bit careful, something like that, and then again for the other side. Um, it's about as intense as it looks to make the blocks move like that. All right, I might have made a grievous error. Yeah, I was supposed to, um, yeah, p push this one up first and then push this one up and form that bridge. I don't think it matters too much. What I'm going to do is die real quick. And that puts me on the other side of that body of water. And now this door on the left is open. So here's this. There's a pit down there. I don't think I want to go in there. And there's some stuff on the um, side. And a spoon. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Right, I remember this. Um, so there is a danger afoot. Um, got a little mean guy here. Luckily, not too dangerous. Um, there's definitely faster enemies in this um, game and just sort of gently following us. How big is its range? Doesn't look like it's that big. So, I believe we want to violently bump this out of here. Might take a bit. There we go. And now, um, these little um, one-ways, um, you can see they have a um, black and white arrow, and what that means is basically um, that only one color of ball can go through. And now um, we have to get this into here, a little bit cumbersome. There we go. Nice. And now it says use the spoon. Um, can you guess what it does? Um, because if you guessed that using the spoon destroys you, you would be correct. And now we're back out here. So, um, this pressure plate. I believe I remember how you deal with that. Um, so, you. Um, we need this thing. So let's have it follow us around. Um, that was a little bit quicker than I expected. Alright, so you come around here. There we go. So that's both the pressure plates. And now, on to the next section. Right, so we've got some mirrors and a cute little lake. Okay, so let's put one here, angle it like that, then put one here, and angle it like that, and actually keep it positioned there, a little bit annoying. Yeah, pushing these is, um, it's an acquired taste. If you bump the corners, I think it's less likely to um, make it move. But with that, so now I've got that. And it looks like that block um, only stays on while the laser's hitting it. All right, so now, many objects change when hit with the laser beam. Try hitting some of the coins with the laser beam. Also, try hitting a block over the coin. Okay, those knights. We need to hit them with the sword to get past. Yeah, so um, in case you want a taste of how weird the mechanics in this game are, and also me accidentally dying like a fool, 
Um, Got to be super careful now. Um, don't want to lose at the very end of the level. So let's try zapping a coin. Turns into an umbrella. How nice. Um, and if we zap an umbrella, um, we can't because it uses it. That destroys it. Just sort of doing a bit of experimentation. All right, so let's make another one. In fact, let's make, well, I keep messing that up and also struggling to even put that down. Okay, so scroll our inventory. Oh, right, so if you hold left mouse, then that actually prevents you from picking up. So that'll be good to know for future reference. And if we push, I use the umbrella again. If you push a block over this, it becomes a, I want to say a nickel. And if you do this, then it becomes a gold coin. And anything more than that? Doesn't look like it. If we zap this, we get a one up. That's very good. I forgot that that pit was down. All right. Yeah, you can see um, 12 minutes and I very well could face um, losing all my lives on this puzzle. It's quite dangerous. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Okay, um, let's super carefully Let's make ourselves another extra life. Just like that. And now, let's try shooting this nickel. So this creates a hammer. And I believe we want to shoot the hammer and make a sword. And um, if you're wondering why that makes any sense, it doesn't. Um, but we did what the level asked, and now with our sword, we can do battle with these knights. All right, we'll call it a draw. Yeah, so that's that's the silly little message that these knights say whenever you um, deal in them. Sort of a little reverse hangman situation. All right. Do you have any umbrellas? Each one will give you approximately 10 seconds of protection from danger, such as falling. Let's make ourselves another one. Cycle our inventory. Don't want to make that mistake again. And now, let's use one. There we go, and now we're finally through. Those black stones are quake stones. They reset all progress made with the oxid stones. The other stones are the oxid stones, matching them up to win. So yeah, um, those are called quake stones. And now let's do our matching. Feels like forever since we heard that sound, right? wasn't quite paying too much attention to the matching there, but I finally solved it. It only took 15 minutes and a half. So with that, we're done with the tutorial pack. And now, before we move on to the Enigma levels, let's go to training. There's only two levels here. So double pendulum. Um, as you can see, um, it's quite as literal as it is in the title, it's a double pendulum. 
and um, our ball is actually bound by gravity and that force is so strong that it's even persisting through the um, space. So it's sort of like a, um, a game of darts, more or less. Um, and the force of gravity here is like a special parameter of the puzzle. Um, it's not a normal thing. Um, the, the capabilities of the game engine are pretty complex. And, um, oh, come on now. There we go. I'm sort of, um, I'm surprised how long that went on. Okay, got another match. All right, so that top one, I actually hit it. Wow, wasn't expecting that. Can I hit this one? Well, I probably was until that hit me. All right. So one thing is um, if I keep my height about level with where I want to go, and then I just sort of fling to the side, um, then that should be, well, I'd like to say sufficient, but again, this keeps like smacking me, which is really throwing me off my groove. Maybe it's not the best strategy, but it's certainly um, entertaining to look at. All right, um, let's do some shots from above. I feel like that's a better use of my time than trying to get the um, perfect bounce. How about that? That was a fail. There we go. Oh wow, and that was a record. Okay, biathlon. Um, so this is probably what the rest of this recording session is going to be for because I remember this level is, um, it's something, I believe. So we go through here, just sliding above the ice, and then Eventually we'll get through here, and I believe something happens when we cross over. Something like... Okay, so we got some batteries, and I believe we can plug them into this, which is going to toss a ball out um, when we hit it. So something like that, yeah. And the velocity matches with um, how strong I hit it and the angle. So that's green. That's yellow. That's cyan. And that's blue. All right, let's try to remember those. And now do another round. Um, hitting the corners is actually super annoying here. You can see they're bouncing me up. Just sort of like a chain ricochet. Alright, six more shots. So green, yellow, cyan, blue. I remember where those are. Let's hit this a little bit more forcefully. Okay, green. Nice, we got a match. Okay, so that's red. Do another round. Yeah, if you're wondering why it's called biathlon, um, this is why. Just sort of um, tossing the ball and then also going through this silly little setup every time to get six more shots. All right, let's try some, let's try aiming from here. That wasn't that useful. All right, got blue again. Red again. Uh, 
overshoot. And miss. So that was a complete waste of a round. And that's why this level is going to take a while. Um, but luckily, it's the only one left in the training pack, so we might as well carry on. Um, so, right. Um, while I'm going through all this, I suppose I will um, just sort of um, mention... So, this game, as you might have re uh, realized when looking at that advanced tutorial, it's got a lot of really weird mechanics. Um, and um, there is a user manual, um, which I can use to... Um, dang it. Um, hold on. That red is actually a pretty good one to hit. But um, yeah, so there's a lot of mechanics and they're all really complicated, and they have some um, impossible to intuit and bizarre interactions. And um, if the need arises, um, I might end up um, showing you what the manual looks like in one of these recording sessions to sort of um, supplement my um, research into the levels I'm playing. Doesn't look like I can cheat that pressure plate. Let's see if I can hit this. Okay, nice. That's blue. Where was the other blue? I don't know. I forgot. I know that the left one is yellow. Um... Just sort of um, sit back and relax as I um, go through the motions here. Um, if you're expecting a lot of um, activity, maybe don't. Okay, that's actually quite lucky. All right, let's try to hit. That's a miss. That's another miss. Okay, so that's a cyan. I believe the upper middle one is a cyan too. So, another trip. Those corner bounces really are annoying. Alright, come on. There we go. Nice. Alright, so let's... Try to get that cyan now. Almost. Almost again. Um, got the yellow. That's okay. There we go. Alright, so one match left. Let's see if we can't get it in this next um, set. Yeah, this is a really silly level, but, um, yeah, I wonder why this pack is called training. Like, what, what's the deal with this level pack? Um, I need to do some research into that, because, in a sense, like, all of these, like, silly momentum shenanigans and, um, horrible ice movement, I guess you could see that as training of some kind. Um, but as soon as I say that, I'm done. So, that's cool. Um, let's see. Um, let's look at the makers. Um, Andreas Lockman. Is this one also by Andreas? By Zephyr. Okay. Um, who knows what the story is here. But, next time, um, Enigma. You can see that Enigma is actually a whole bunch of level packs. And this is probably where... A lot of my time is going to be spent. Um, then there's 
Deja Vu. Um, I believe this is basically recreations of some other games. Then Soko Ball is, um, as you might have guessed, um, block pushing puzzles. Then Pentomino. Um, just to show you real quick, um, I believe is I don't actually remember what's the deal here. Oh, right. So, Pentomino. Um, so these are a bunch of space-filling puzzles. Um, and you can um, make all sorts of different shapes and generate them and rotate them, as you can see there, and mirror them as well. Um, and I believe the goal is just to fill them all into this um, grass space. Um, so that's what Pentomino is about. Then facets. Um, I believe these are, um, looks like older version levels and levels that are from a seasonal event, I guess. And then user and development, um, I believe these are, yeah, just um, levels not really to be played, but to um, show off the um, capabilities of the game. Um, and that's like an overview of everything we'll be playing. So next time, um, we'll be taking a look at Enigma. So see you next time.